Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Uh, it's Curse Culinary, and today we're making pork tacos. All right, so my skillets are preheated. So I have some uh, pulled pork. This was a uh, pork shoulder or a pork butt, and I seasoned it with taco seasoning and slow cooked it and pulled it apart. So it has a real nice taco-y taco flavor. And you're gonna put a little olive oil in here. And you're gonna put your pulled pork in there. And that's what you want. You want it nice and hot. Get this beef real nice and cooked down. And by slow cooking it, you give it a great, great flavor. So you're gonna take a little taco shell, spray some spray down. And get you some cheese. So I don't measure the cheese out. You can use as much as you want or as little as you like. These are a really nice uh, different option. I like to toast these and get them nice and uh, crunchy. Uh, you could also just uh, do this as a soft taco, kind of fold it over or uh, roll it or even a burrito if you like but it's what gives it a really good flavor is this this pork really does a good job uh, I took the pork shoulder it was about three pounds and a couple packages of taco seasoning and marinated it overnight and then slow cooked it and I slow cooked it for like six or eight hours and it just it just fell right apart so then I cooled it and this is my finished product, so all we have to do is reheat this and then give it just a little bit of caramelization to it. Make it look nice. Give it just a little crunch, not too much. We're gonna check on our, yeah. All right. So we're almost there. Turn that down a little bit. My heat for the uh, taco is on six. It's like a medium heat. And my heat for the meat is on high. So I really want I want this to cook really quick. I'm only bringing it up to temperature anyway. So I want this done pretty quick. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this meat. Go ahead and put it on inside. All right, grab it just a little bit more. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and take your spatula, flip this over. Yeah, should be nice golden brown. And give this just a minute. Go ahead and flip it. All right, so now this is done. So go ahead and turn your heat off. Take this off, set it on the plate. And since there's just one lonely guy by himself, we're gonna make another one. Now you slap your Slap your tortilla down, put you some cheese. These are really not hard to make at all. Very simple, very delicious. If you guys are interested in a recipe, I will have a recipe in my description. And if this is just something a little different to do with pork. Uh, it's really, uh, most time people have pork, they always want to do pulled pork or whatever, and it's just sometimes you just need a little something different. So, now we're going to check this out. And we're going to give her a flip. Oh, nope, we're not there yet, so we're going to let that go. Give it just a little bit longer. And these are not hard to make at all. They take very little time. Uh, the only thing that does take a decent amount of time is the pork itself. Uh, it's a slow cooking process. If you guys would like to see that, uh, I could show you how to prep it. And But it's pretty basic. Uh, you just take the dry rub and you pat it down into the pork real well. And you add a cup of water and let it slow cook away. Um, the one I cooked actually had a bone in it 
and the bone just just fell right out. I was able to pull it out with my fingers. So, all right, this bad boy's done. And turn your heat off, make sure your heat's off. Go ahead and swing this over. Now you can cut this if you like, or you can leave it whole, just have it as one. I'm, these are a little bigger than I thought, but it's all I had to work with, so I went with it. So this is Kurt's Culinary, and this is Pork Tacos. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you uh, try the recipe. It's a very delicious recipe. I have some salsa and some guacamole to put on the side. Uh, I, um, if you have sour cream, that would be a good option too. I don't have any right now, so I just went with what I have. Um, that's about it, guys. So this is Kurt's Culinary, and if you please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.